tonight, uh, like Karen said, I'm not from around here. I uh, had sex with a stranger, so I'm a single mom. That's how you kick off your 40s, you guys. Two college degrees, and then boom, mistakes were made. Um, I don't know, my family in Alabama was like, we didn't think you were one of us, it just took you longer. I'm like, mm, thanks, guys. It's great. My mom's not super excited about this sex with strangers thing. She's like, I don't understand why you have to have sex with people that you just met. And I'm like, well, mama, our cousins don't live up here, so. It's kind of what they do in Minnesota. It's a little crazy. Uh, I do have a guy that I have frequent flyer miles with. That's what we're calling it. Nobody get excited. Uh, he's, if he were a Muppet, he'd be like Sam the Eagle. Like he's super serious and zero sense of humor. Yeah, you know Sam the Eagle, like, you know, Trump voter. Uh, anyway, I just hang out with him to keep him away from the polls. That's the service I'm doing. So, so I know it's, yeah, I know it's spicy, our friendship. Um, so I was gonna tell you the thing about him is that he's a gun person, and you can be really honest, it's confessional time. Anybody here a gun person that, that clearly, you are, sir? All right, yeah, you, got, woo, woo it over there, gun people, yeah. Okay, the rest of you are my people. <laughs> I, uh, I am not a huge gun fan, but he's a mega gun lover. He has so many guns, sometimes he'll say, oh, I forgot I own that. How do you have so many guns? You forget a few. That's a lot of guns. It's a lot of guns. The zombie apocalypse happens, however, I'm beelining to his house, so. We were hanging out with his friends that are gun people, and this guy said, oh, you guys are just so nice. I'm gonna give you two grenades. Cause that's what gun people do when they like you. They just give you grenades. I'm like, oh, wow, I have a toddler. I don't need grenades. So I stuck them in his backpack. Like, just stuck them in my friend's backpack because I don't want the kids around the grenades. Now, just to be really clear so we can calm everybody down, they are actual military grenades, but they don't have any powder in them. So they're not going to explode, but they have the pin, they're the exact right material, they're, they're actual grenades, right? That's just, what do you do with that, right? So I stuck them in his backpack, a couple months went by. His sister is a Delta pilot. <laughs> you guys are already there. They had a family emergency. And he, was, he grabbed his backpack to hop on a last minute flight to go save in a family situation, right? And didn't remember that I had stuck the grenades in his backpack. <laughs> yeah, so I'm at the dentist and I've got the dentist and the dental hygienist both having hands in their mouths and I get a text message. And I look at it and it's like, boop, and it's from Sam the Eagle. And uh, he goes, you won't believe what happened. And I'm like, what? He goes, I'm not ready to talk about it. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, 14? What is, go what is going on? I'm gonna have people in my mouth right now, what, what? And he writes, I shut down the Minneapolis airport. <laughs> and immediately I'm like, Grr! oh my God! I immediately knew that I had screwed him really hard. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. and so I start Googling, what's the TSA fine? Does anybody know? It's $14,000 per grenade. That's a $28,000 prank. You guys, and here's the best thing about Sam the Eagle, is he's the kind of man that never makes mistakes, right? He always drives the speed limit. He's never in the wrong. It's always wackadoos like me. So he said, from his perspective, when he was at the Minneapolis airport, and it clearly where something went sideways, because all of a sudden, he put his bag on there, goes to the TSA thing, and let's for a minute imagine the TSA agent, shall we? Who's having what I would term maybe a normal day, right? Like. Toothpaste, peanut butter, tech sex toy. <laughs> Grenade! Wah! And it like hits the button where the people come running out with guns drawn, all excited. This is Sam. So I'm standing there like, who's up here trying to make America great again? What's going on today at the airport? And then they hold up my bag and they're like, what's in this bag? And I'm like, underwear, socks. What else is in the bag? Phone, charger. Are there explosives in this bag? Oh, there might be grenades. <laughs> the best part is his sister was trying to pull away from the gate at the Minneapolis airport and got a note that said, hold, we may have a bomb threat. So her day's messed up, right? I'm like, oh my God, this story is so great. Are you gonna tell her? He's like, no. 
I'm telling one person in the world, and it's you. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> You picked the wrong one person, buddy. Because that's amazing, and it needs to be told.